What's cracking guys, Omar Yusuf here. Here today I wanted to share something with you. Uh, what I do when I feel my back end a little tweaky or what I've done when I, once again I strained my SI, one of the surefire things that I personally do do. Uh, so understand this is not something that uh, I discovered or I found. In fact, I gotta give a lot of shout outs to a few individuals. Uh, the first one would have to be to my boy Jake Noel for his rehab stuff. When I first heard about this 90-90 kind of breathing would probably be Eric Cressy. I think it all comes from the Postural Restoration Institute. Recently, actually, I got to give, though, the shout out to Daniel Tran, something that goes here, that was interning with Chad Wesley Smith and uh, Dr. Quinn Hennock. And uh, he was just uh, reiterating something. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, the idea behind this 90-90 uh, stretch. So basically what happens, whenever you feel a tweak or pull or something going on, for me personally with my SI, I kind of try and reset through uh, proper bracing, proper breathing, uh, in order to reset everything that's feeling a little wonky. So here's what I do, and uh, here are maybe some of the benefits, and for you out there that could be suffering from something similar, give it a try and see what it does for you. As you guys know, bracing is everything when it comes to lifting heavy, uh, trying to increase that spinal stability. When you're lifting a heavy load on your back, on your uh, you know squats or whatever, you have a load, but then you also have your core separating between your legs and the load itself, so super important. Uh, same idea when it comes to the deadlift, so bracing is everything. But improper breathing in general can set us up for a whole bunch of different posture issues uh, that occur. So getting the fundamentals down is crucial. But when it happens, when something when I feel a pull, what I'll do actually is I'll lie down on my back, I'll put my feet up on a bench, and what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna get a foam roller to create a little bit of pressure to activate those adductors. I'm gonna tilt my hips up using my hamstrings, so pulling my heels down into either the bench or against the wall. I'll pull my heels down to activate my hamstrings a little bit. I'm gonna tilt my pelvis a little bit off the ground. I try and basically that sensation of squeezing my uh, uh, glutes or activating that pelvic floor. And what I'll notice actually, what happened the first time that I tried this, when I felt my SI was a little wonky, I felt a click, a clunk, and actually basically what happened is my SI was a little off. It centered it back, and then from there, breathing what I do is I take a big breath in, so through the diaphragm, through my nose, and then I'd exhale out forcefully. And what you'll find actually being in this position is uh, there's a little bit of core stability involved. If you haven't done this at all, you'll find that your uh, core gets fried. Actually, you'll feel like, like your adductors activating, your glutes a little bit, and then once again, uh, your core doing some work. But this is essentially patterning good effective breathing and bracing. Uh, so it's taking it back to the basics. Because once again, when you have a load on your spine, that's probably one of the things that can happen improper uh, bracing when you breathe too much shallow breath in your chest, or if you have banged up like myself, maybe you're just a little asymmetrical. So anytime something like that happens, I'll go back to this, and I'll focus on that breathing. And I know guys actually like Chad Wesley Smith, uh, recently, I think he had some sort of back issue. This is one of his go-to exercises where you just reset. And what you should find, like I had uh, the other day, two weeks ago, I was just front squatting and I was a little crooked. So I twisted a bit, that thoracic area felt a little wonky. Well, once again, think about it, breathing. You're also expanding your diaphragm, but also a little bit your chest cavity. I uh, went down on the ground, did some of that 90-90 uh, breathing. So uh, I say 90 because 90-90 because hip flexors are at 90 degrees, and then you also have uh, your knee angles at 90 degrees, and then just focus on squeezing and breathing and trying to uh, focus on bracing as well. And bit by bit, some of that pressure that you get, that uh, inflammation, let's say, that happens when you feel a tweak, actually went away. And so normally after I do something like this, if I do feel an incident or something feeling wonky it'll definitely make it better in that short term and also doing it on subsequent days just make it better and better. So guys, that is the video. I will link in the description uh, below the video by uh, Dr. Quinn talking about this for just further information. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bit by bit as I unravel this mystery and as the back guest 100%, I'll be making more videos like this of what works for me so maybe you could take something away from it as well. That's all the time we have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.